Hey America, it's Mike Whiteside at Black Dog Salvage and I'm in our paint studio right now uh, working on a little project for myself or my office. Had a pair of uh, old Danish modern chairs and I just didn't have the heart to throw them away because you know everything deserves a second chance so uh, went down to the workshop and glued them back together and now I'm up here painting them. I'm going with a black once it dries I'm gonna come back and distress it with a little sandpaper and then uh, and then we'll, we'll uh, put them back in the office for another another decade of use. But I just wanted to share this project with you because it's a lot of fun and it doesn't take long. So folks, this is what the, uh, the original chair frame looked like uh, after I uh, glued it and plugged everything back up. And I didn't use any uh, like material as far as plugging, which you should have if you were refinishing. I was gonna paint it so it didn't, didn't never mind. So I took the upholstery off of it with a few screws, sanded it up, pretty good just to get a nice uh, even finish on it and then I'm gonna put some paint on it. This is me using Black Dog Salvage furniture paint. It's real easy. Just prep your surface, make sure it's clean of grease and wax or oil and wax and just come in and make nice even strokes and I know everybody out there is doing it. This is, I haven't done this in a while so uh, you know it's, uh, it's something that I'll probably start doing more when I when I semi-retire, whenever that is, I have no idea when that's going to be. This is a good way to, uh, to upcycle some old furniture, and there's a lot of this stuff just sitting on the side of the road. So, I got my base coat on, right? And it covered and is leveled and it's ultra, ultra flat. And that's not the look I'm looking for. But I want a distressed look. So what I'll do, I'll take a uh, like 150 grit sandpaper. And all I'm going to do is just hit the edges, burn through some of this uh, finish a little bit. And, and just start getting that kind of that worn look on it. And you can do as much or as little as you want. You know, if you want it to, uh, to look like, look kind of natural. Then what I typically do, you look at areas that are probably going to be, would have been the wear spots like inside the, on the arms. You just put a little bit more into it and take a little bit more paint off. And, and again, there's, it's, it's, there's no rules here. You just do as much as you want or as little as you want. And then from there, you just keep going. So what I've got here is uh, our top coat. Some people wax it. We don't. Uh, we like to put a nice uh, clear finish on it. It's a lot more durable. It's a lot more forgiving when you're, uh, especially on a table or something of that nature. Um, this is, we call it Guard Dog. It's our top coat. It's a protecting coat. And what I'm going to do here, I'm, uh, I'm going to just put a little bit in a, in a pot. I'm going to add just a little bit of water because this is a water-based product. And stir it up real good because I want this to be to lay real smooth. If it's too thick, it'll it'll leave lines. I just got a little chip brush, so it's uh, pretty cheap. And just come in here and just just lay it on. Okay, you get some runs. Just come back and and pull them out. Let your brush get a little dry so you can you can pull those uh, drips out. But you know you can spray it if you're uh, if you really got got that kind of equipment. But I, I'm a brusher. I'm an old mariner from way back, so I, I always did a lot of bright work when I was in, the, in that business. And that bright work is the, uh, the varnish or the teak cap rails on boats. It's really pretty if, if you know how to do it. I never was the greatest, but, uh, you know, you learn things. But this is, uh, this is just putting on the top coat, and it'll dry up pretty quick. You know, again, let your brush get a little dry if you need to to, to drag out some of these some runs that you might get and it's going to draw a nice satin clear finish. <music> 